Hello friends, in next 10-15 minutes what I am going to talk in front of you is the common causes for rejection of an article when you submit to a journal. First and foremost thing which I want to say before starting and going to the depth of different causes, you must know one thing is that to avoid rejection the first and foremost thing is that you read the instruction for the author. So if, if you read the instruction for the author which is given in that particular journal properly and if you follow it by step by step, there are barely any chances of rejection. So most commonly the fault happens there that you do, don't follow the instructions which is given for the author. Now first of all we'll go for the original articles, what are the common causes and then we'll see for the review articles. Then lack of novelty, originality and presentation of the obsolete study. Another important thing, novelty and unobviousness. These are very two important things are the primary criteria that an editor of a scientific journal stresses upon. These two things are very important which needs to be followed when you do an original study. And there has to be a, some new message and a new add-upons to the existing knowledge. Then it becomes very obvious that your article will be accepted. Then improper rationale. The whole manuscript should revolve along the rationale of the study which should be the central theme of the article. Usually the aims and objectives, objectives should form the last sentence under the introduction section. So when you write the introduction, the last liner should be what is your aims and objectives, why you took this study and why you want to do it. That makes a good sense. Now unimportant and irrelevant subject matter. That's a very important thing for a manuscript to be published in a well recognized journal. One should avoid irrelevant subject matter and the article should have significant scientific content so that people should read and they should find that yes, I got something out of it. So editor is always in search of something that is new and at the same time fulfills the requirement or the scope of the journal on which you have sent. So flaws in methodology is another important thing that is one of the most common cause of rejection which we has been seen. The methodology itself if it is not written properly the result and outcome obviously is going to get biased or it will not come in a proper manner. So this is attributed to the poor literature survey that means this literature survey has not been done properly and that demonstrate a paltry knowledge of the researcher also and this may not be reflected in a reviewer comments but the author may be presented to the chief editor.